Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at this Kodiak 13-inch hub and rotor disc brake assembly set. This is going to allow you to upgrade your trailer from drum brakes to disc brakes so you can take advantage of the superior performance that comes along with having disc brakes on your trailer. Uh, having the two brake assemblies here is going to allow you to upgrade a single 7,200 pound capacity axle with the number 42 spindles. Our rotors are 13 inches in diameter. And as you can see, we've got the eight on six and a half inch bolt pattern with these nine sixteenth inch diameter wheel bolts. So this is going to work for your wheels that are 16 inches and larger. We've got a Dacromet finish on the hub and rotors and on the mounting brackets. Uh, and it's gonna provide excellent rust and corrosion resistance with a 300 to 400 hour salt spray rating. We also have an E-coat on the calipers to provide adequate rust and corrosion protection with a 250 to 350 our salt spray rating. So uh, these are going to be great for your freshwater boat trailers. Even if you're uh, going to be uh, going into the water quite a bit, these will hold up really well for you. If you are going to be in salt water or uh, on heavily treated roads where there's going to be a lot of interaction with salt, I would recommend going more with a stainless steel construction. Those are going to hold up a little bit better for you. Um, but if you're going to be in the freshwater and in uh, less corrosive environments like that, uh, this will do a really good job for you, help these to hold up really well. So when you're looking at upgrading from drum brakes to disc brakes, you're gonna notice a huge performance improvement. Uh, these are going to do a great job at uh, dramatically short, shortening your stopping distance. It's gonna provide smoother, more controlled braking than you're used to with your drum brakes. So it's gonna help keep your trailer from pushing and pulling. We've got ceramic brake pads that help to increase the stopping power. And there is a large, two and a half inch diameter stainless steel piston that provides fast responsive braking. And in addition to improved performance, you're also going to have less maintenance with disc brakes over your drum brakes. So it is gonna help save you time and money. Having the one piece hub and rotor assembly is gonna reduce the chance of uneven rotor wear. And we have a vented design here on the side that's going to help dissipate heat faster to prevent premature brake pad wear. These are a high quality automotive grade construction, so they are gonna be very long lasting for you. So again, it's gonna help save you time and money over uh, your drum brakes. There's not those little springs that could potentially fail and have to be replaced, uh, all those sort of things that uh, add up over time. Uh, so the one caveat to upgrading to disc brakes is that disc brakes do require a higher line pressure than your drum brakes. Uh, so you're going to need to make sure that you have a hydraulic brake actuator and brake lines that are rated for 1500 PSI or higher. And that's pretty rare for uh, trailers that are set up for drum brakes. Uh, so that might take a bit to uh, get that whole system converted over. If you don't already have the hydraulic uh, brake actuator and the brake lines, we do sell those separately here at eTrailer.com. Obviously, it's not included in this kit, uh, so it's not going to be everything that you need here, uh, but this will provide the two Dacromat plated cast iron hub and rotor assemblies with the eight uh, pre-installed 9 16th inch diameter wheel bolts on each one. You're also going to get 16 of these 9 16th inch zinc plated steel lug nuts to hold your wheel in place. You'll get the two E-coated cast iron calipers, as well as the two Dacromet plated ductile iron caliper mounting brackets. As you can see, these mounting brackets have the four uh, hole brake flange configuration, or the four bolt brake flange configuration, so it is gonna be very easy to get mounted on your axle. I do wanna point out that I've got these mounted on top just for display purposes. When you actually go to mount these, they will be mounted on the side. That side support design puts all the weight on the mounting bracket instead of on your bolts, so it helps your bolts last longer. You are gonna get four of these stainless steel caliper mounting bolts. Uh, we also have our inner and our outer races that are pre-installed here. Uh, inside those races, we're gonna have our inner and outer bearings that are going to make sure that everything's um, rotating smoothly. This system is lubricated with grease, so you're going to have your two uh, grease seals on the inside, and then your two Easy Lube grease caps for the outside. And these do have those rubber plugs that can pop out so you can more easily access your Easy Lube spindles uh, to pump grease in there if you have those. Uh, otherwise, they're just a, a grease cap that will allow, prevent any contamination in there. Make sure that your grease is uh, 
keeping everything well lubricated. So like I said, if you are wanting to upgrade from drum brakes to disc brakes on your trailer or if you're just needing to replace the disc brakes on your trailer, uh, these are going to do a great job for you, especially with that Decromet finish. Uh, they are going to hold up well uh, for a lot of uh, environments. So that completes our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.